All right, another segment of Encourage Me, Declaration. It's important that we have an opportunity to declare the favor of God, to declare God's peace, his prosperity over our life, because we give permission for things to exist in our life through our words and through our language. Hebrews tells us that God formed the world through his words. And so how are you forming your world through the words that you're using? Here's an example. Declaration, today is my day. Today I declare a day of victory over my health, my wellness, my physical body. I declare my mind is sound and resolute. I de declare that the peace of God will stand guard over my mind and my heart. I declare that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I declare my mind, my body, my spirit is free in the name of Jesus. I receive that freedom now and I walk in that freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Here's a little um, just tidbit for you to take away with you. There's a concept or a thought and they went on and they went on. Four small words, but they can reap a great harvest in your life. And so whatever season you're in, whatever you walk through, it's your time to move on. It's your time to move on. You've given time to learn from the past. You've had an opportunity to get to know what you need to know about yourself, about the past, about the experience, and they went on. Your relationships, they come and go, and only the ones that are really special and useful stay for the duration of your life. Very few people have lifelong friends. And so if you have two people in your life that you can say are lifelong friends, they've been there through the thick, they've been there through the thin, they are special people and you are special to have them. And they went on. You've cried your tears. You've embraced your fears. Now in two words, it's time to move on. We can't fix the past. We can't go back and orchestrate the events of the past. All we can do is gather what we have left and move on. Moving on takes courage, it takes faith, it takes intentionality. You have to be intentional about moving forward in your life. One thing that you can do today that moves you forward is declare peace over your day, declare that this is not the end of my story, declare that I shall move on and they went on. So at the end of your story, no matter good, bad, right, or wrong, at the end of your story, it doesn't end in defeat. It doesn't end in you becoming some a half version of yourself. At the end of the, your, your story, you need to stick a, a colon and say, and they went on, comma, to be continued, because God is not done with you yet. Be blessed. Encourage yourself today. And you will see the benefits that God has for you just through using your language. God bless.